Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pia and I am so happy that you're joining me here today for a little chat about yarn and knitting. Today specifically about whips because I will be going through all of my whips to decide which ones I will be bringing tonight when we go back to Italy and which ones I will leave behind. We are still in Denmark. It's a rather cold and windy day here. So at least until my hair is dry, I am going to be wearing my bright sweater. This is a beautiful pattern by Junko Okamoto. I knitted a couple of years ago. I cast it on many years ago. But then a couple of years ago, I decided to sit down and finish the thing. And I'm so happy that I did because I really like this sweater. It is so beautiful. It is full of interesting details. I will say it's not the easiest knit. There's a lot going on. There are parts that are a little fiddly and you never really get to that point where it's just stuck knit stitch in the round. But still, totally worth it if you're up for a fun and challenging knit. But yeah, what I will be knitting this summer. This box full of yarn is for my behind the scenes knitting this summer. And it's a lot. Um, obviously I'm bringing this I need to, I'm on a deadline, but I also want some for fun knitting, uh, something that I can share with you along the way. So uh, I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm a little intimidated by this pile to be honest, but I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna start with something really easy because in this bag, I know what's in this. It is my Helix holder by Jessie May Design. It is almost finished. Just see here, I need a couple of rows more uh, here on the armhole ripping. Uh, I tried it on when I finished the first armhole. It fits me just like I wanted it to fit. So now I I am going to try it on once more uh, when I finished both armholes because I might need to make it a little bit longer um, just because obviously the ribbing here pulls the, the top up a little bit. But I will wait until they're both done, then I will try it on again and just add a couple of centimeters of ribbing if necessary. But yeah, if you have been following along my vlogation videos, you will have seen this so many times. I have really been enjoying working on it and this is what I have left of the one ball of yarn that I have uh, been using. So I can easily make it longer even with just one ball of yarn. Um, it is a 100% mercerized cotton yarn, quite easy to work with, a high twist so that it's, it's not splitty at all. Uh, fingering weight. Yeah, quite easy to work with. I'm I'm pleased with this yarn and it is for sure a budget-friendly option. Uh, I know that one of these bags will contain the other ball plus a couple of balls in another color. So uh, I'll be able to show you. It is called Anne, but I'll be able to show you uh, the yarn and the label once we find that particular project bag. But yeah, this one will be going with me. It will be going in the car. 
uh, so that I can finish it before we arrive. And I spot another easy decision. This one, this is Peter's sweater. If you watched the latest location, you saw me trying this sweater on him. It fits him perfectly. I still have around 12 centimeters to go on the body and then I can start the sleeves. And yeah, I was so happy when I saw how well it actually fit. So I want to finish this. I know he can't wear it anytime soon, but still, I want to finish it. It was a Father's Day cast on. He should have it before fall. And also, it is a pleasure to knit. It's just plain stockinet stitch in the round. So it's perfect for those evenings where you're just hanging out, uh, out in the terrace, chatting the night away. I can work on this without paying any attention, basically. This one also goes in the car because as soon as I finish the Helix holder, this one moves to the top of my knitting list. So two knits for the car ride and then I should be I should be good. It's a 15, 16 hours car ride. So I will have plenty of knitting in those two projects. But yeah, let's take something that I have no idea what's in. Uh, in this tote bag. Ah, see, when I was in Texas, I knit uh, the Look at My Holes by James and Watts for my daughter-in-law. And I used this yarn, uh, Yarn Art Jeans. It's a cotton acrylic blend and it was just such a pleasure to work with it has a little more bounce a little more give than 100 percent cotton um so it comes in packs of four balls i use two and a half ball for uh, look at my holes so i have one and a half ball in the black and then i actually went ahead and ordered some gray and some white as well. I would really like to make some some stripy t-shirts. I just finished my Texas tea with the uh, blue and white stripes and I love it and I would really like to make some striped t-shirts. But am I Am I going to cast this on? It would make sense to cast it on. It is a plant-based fiber. It would make sense for summer knitting. I don't know. Instead of doing a yes and a no pile, I am adding a third category, a maybe pile. And then I think I will... I'll probably make the final decision on the maybe pile once we start packing the car. Yeah. Okay. Here is something that I am so curious about. It's in a Christmas bag, which tells me that it's not something that I cast on recently. Ah, it's, it's a pool shawl in a wonderful yarn. I'm sorry that it's so wrinkly. It has been crunched up there for a long time. It's knit in a lovely yarn from the Danish hand dyer uh, Knitters World. It is her single spun merino alpaca silk. It is so fluffy and scrumptious and lovely. And I love the color and I love everything about it, but I'm not going to bring it. I'm going to fold it up nicely, though. I will be working on this come fall. It makes more sense, I think. Uh, 
I, I should not second guess myself when I put something in the no pile. I am not going to bring that one. I have no idea. Let's look. Ah, this is yarn that I put away for a specific project, but never got to cast it on. This is yarn for a prismatic tea um, by Woolen Pine. I have had my eyes on that pattern for the longest time. Um, so I have taken some gray, Drops Baby Merino, uh, some charcoal. This is some of my own hand dyed yarn in the uh, sock yarn. Yeah, just leftover scraps. Uh, and then I put these in. And it's actually three minis that I wanted to fade in as the, the main contrasting color, if you will so that the charcoal would be the outline around the pattern uh, and these would then be faded in as the pattern. I don't know. I really want the prismatic. Uh, I think it's so pretty. I have been looking for the perfect green or yellow neon colored variegated yarn. And then I, at some point, decided, ah, pink, pink is pink is also good, and pink is definitely also good. But you know what? I'm in no hurry to knit this, so I think I will wait. I will continue my search for the perfect neon yellow or neon green, and then I will cast on the prismatic. I will, however, keep the yarn in this bag just because now it's there. And uh, then when I find the perfect contrasting color, I don't have to roam through my stash to find the main color. So this is a definite no. Um, it's on hold. This one is going to be difficult. I know, because this one is some a, a fairly recent cast on. It is uh, Ina's butterfly shawl, Ina Renbo. She designed this. She designed it as a scarf, and I decided to then knit it up as a shawl, just because, mainly because I fell for this yarn. It's called... Uh, Two of Wands Color Theory. I'm pretty sure I got this at Joann's. It's the colorway six, if I'm not mistaken. No. It's the colorway caper. Um, so it is, it's just, it's soft, it's delicious. It is a 100% acrylic, which... I'm not usually a fan of, but still, I when I cast this on, I saw myself wearing it on a cool summer night, just hanging out, um, being just a little bit chilly, and then taking this super soft and fluffy thing and putting it around my shoulders. It's fun to knit, for sure. I really love the way she put the uh, the increases here and yeah the short row shaping just makes it beautiful it's a maybe it will it will be determined later okay mm, let's take this one because i think that this yes this is um, the yarn that I used for my Helix holder. And uh, I got this off Amazon. It is really a budget-friendly yarn. I don't remember the exact price. 
uh, if it was, was it $12 for this one? And this is enough for a Helix holder. And I think I cast on for the fourth size. I should be able to remember this. I don't. But I think she actually writes in the pattern description that one ball is enough for uh, many sizes. So, um, yeah, I did get two balls just to be safe. Um, now, if what I want to make is another Helix holder, then I only need to bring one ball, obviously. But... What if I change my mind? What if I want to knit one of the other beautiful tank top patterns that are out there? Mock neck. What's it called? The mock neck tank. I don't remember. The new one by Jesse Made Design. The one that everyone is casting on right now. And it's so beautiful. I am going to bring both balls because then I will have enough for that if I change my mind or I will have enough for two healings holded, which that's not a bad thing. So, yes, my yes pile, but not not my goes into the car pile. I hope I can keep my piles straight as we move along. This one is easy. This is a... Definitely, because this is something that I packed specifically for this trip. Just look at this cute little bag. This is the same shape and size as one of the bags that you can win in our summer knit along, our summer Mal 2023. Post on Instagram with that hashtag and you will enter to win a set of project bags um one that is i think it's a little bit larger than this size and then one that is this cutie 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 sock project size uh and this is a coming sock project because we are uh not going to go directly home to our house in italy we're going to stop in gardaland so that we can let the kids have a little more fun. Not that they haven't had fun this summer already, but there you go. And I decided that I needed something small, simple, portable for those days in the park. So I have put in here some stitch markers, some measuring tape, sock needles, um, just my, my chow goose, uh, and then some sock yarn from Anita's World. It is her Apaka sock yarn, which I really love because it fluffs up, up just so beautifully. I did put it in a cozy because it's white. I'm going to be dirty and just not to mess it up too much before they're even knit. So for sure, this is coming. This is a Definite yes. And I put those there. And another definite yes, because I also know what's in this one. This is the beginning of a string of cozies. It is definitely coming with me. The cozies are just, they're perfect out and about knitting. So simple, small, portable. Plus, I need the finished cozies for a project that I will be working on during the summer. So this is a yes, definitely. And what goes with it is this project, because I will be working on, um, on an advent pattern. It's going to be a blanket this year. It's going to be a special blanket. Uh, so I have collected a lot of scraps and leftovers. I am going to make an advent calendar for myself. And I'm also going to use these to 
make the the design for the advent pattern so this is also a definitely so much more information to follow about those two things now i'm gonna challenge myself this is so difficult because i really want to bring this but i don't know that it makes sense but it is my mulberry afghan pattern by tony lipsy of tl yarn crafts um it's not knitting it's tunisian crochet and maybe sometimes i need a little break from the knitting and so what if it takes up a lot of space um i do have some maybe i shouldn't bring so much extra yarn that's also going to take up space but yeah it is worked in acrylic yarn from michael's yeah uh this is the basic stitch anti-pilling which is so soft i mean it is forget everything you know about squeaky like ah, plasticky acrylic yarns this is so soft and so nice uh, and then it is combined with the Mandala Ombre. Uh, it's Lion brand, sorry. Um, and the colorway, because I've been saying that the colorway was Ombre. Oh, obviously it's not. That's the name of the yarn. The colorway is cool. Uh, and it is this uh, um, color changing yarn with some grays and some blacks and some browns and some whites and it just just works up so prettily in this blanket I really want to bring it maybe pile it's gonna go in the maybe pile but this is this is the first thing that will be moved from the maybe pile to the definitely pile if there is a chance because variety hmm? and and what if i get a knitting injury and i can't knit i should probably bring that uh i only have three more things to go and you know what let's take this one because this is going to be a no mm. which it's my granny stripe blanket and i haven't touched it in a long long time because my elbow uh my elbow hurt every time i just put in one single row but I have bought some new crochet hooks that should help me. Um, I just want to work on it. But it, it doesn't make sense to bring this and the Mulberry Afghan. I need to decide between the two and then decide if there's room for it at all. And deciding between these two, I'm going to go with the Mulberry Afghan, both because I love Tunisian crochet. I know that my elbow can do it. And it takes up a little less space than this monster. So definitely no. I'm so sorry. I'm going to come back to you. I need more crochet in my life. This one. I have no idea. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh, wow. This, this is yarn that I set aside to make a Calazzo sweater. Oh, wouldn't it be beautiful? Oh, this is, um, one of you were able to tell me the name of this maker. I cannot make it out. 
It's yarn that I bought over in Texas. Um, it is a fingering weight superwash merino. The colorway is girly grunge, but I'm so sorry that I cannot see the maker's name. Anyway, I have two skeins. If I hold it with some white silk mohair, it's going to be plenty to make myself a Colazzo sweater. I really want to do that. But should I be working with mohair in the summer? On the other hand, it's going to be white. White is very summery. Maybe pile. Maybe. So, last whip. I have no idea what's in here. I hope that it's going to be something that is super easy to make a decision about. Oh no, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be so difficult. This is yarn that I put aside to make a perfect little cardigan, my PLC pattern. I wear my perfect little cardigan all of the time. And I could really use a gray one and a fluffy one for that matter. Uh, these, I have three skeins of this. This is just some yarn that I have been holding on to for some years. I bought it in Hobby Lobby back, I think my first trip to Texas. It is a superwash merino fingering weight. And then the last time, no, oh, the time before the last that I was there, I bought this magpie fiber, uh, their feather base, and the colorway smoke and mirrors. Just look, isn't it just so pretty? Oh, I love this colorway. I really, really love this. And I think these two are gonna be so beautiful together. And I think they're going to make a cardigan that I will wear all of the time. I really want to cast it on. I don't want to be working with mohair in the summer. It's just, it's a no-no. It's one of those things that you just don't do. But you know what? It's not the law. Um, I can do this. This is my knitting. I can do this. I'm going to knit with mohair this summer. I am definitely bringing this. Final thing to go through. I had to pull this out from under Miss, who is now very dissatisfied with me. Ah, she'll forgive me. She'll be fine. But in this beautiful bag is a project that I am definitely not bringing. It is the Ellsworth wrap. It's going to be beautiful when I finish it one day. I'm not that far from finishing it. I'm almost two thirds done with it, but I am still so annoyed with myself for two times bringing the wrong colorway to work on it. So this one is gonna stay at home. It's, I will come back to it for sure. I wanna finish it, but I don't wanna bring it now because I have this idea that if I do bring it, I'm probably gonna bring the wrong yarn again. So, Five, six whips. Okay, six, six whips plus my helix holder, which doesn't count as a whip because there's an hour left on it, two tops, and that's only if I need to also make it longer. So I'm not counting that. But other than that, um, I, I think I'm good. I'm good. I will be 
back in Denmark uh, in the beginning of August. I have uh, some things to do here, some parties to go to, a Yarny event, and I also have a project in the house. So we are talking one month. I can get by with all my behind the scenes knitting and these five or six projects. I'll be fine. I'm not going to finish them all, but I will have, I will have a variation. I will have different knits for different situations, which is how I like my knitting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and or subscribe below. It really helps me. It helps my channel. Um, also, if you want to tell me about your whips, I would be more than happy to get a comment from you. You can, of course, also show me your summer whips using the hashtag SummerMal2023. That way you are part of our make-along and you are entered to win prizes. I'm going to end things now. Um, I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe in a week, maybe two. Things are going to be a little up in the air here oh, during the summer. I hope to see you again at some point. Until then, enjoy the summer or the winter, depending on where you are. Be safe, have fun and keep knitting. <laughs>